Hey, what's going on everybody? Today we have a quick lick lesson. Quick lick lesson, quick lick lesson. Say that five times fast. <laughs> anyway, we have a quick lick lesson based around a Latin groove. We're gonna be implementing a nice little bass riff. Stay tuned. <laughs> Okay, so that was it. You probably missed it because it went by so quick and it was right in the beginning. But if you did miss it, I started it right off in the beginning. I used like a Lydian mode. I get carried away playing Latin grooves. I love the feel of a Latin groove. Anyway, I started on the downbeat of three. One, two, three, 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 three. so. If I can play it right. So, so one, two, three. It's pretty intricate and it's pretty intense, right? So let's slow it down like 100 BPM, all right? So. <laughs> all right, so anyway, I'm playing in slow motion here. The beginning starts off on the B on the G string. So I'm doing some pull-offs and some hammer-ons here. So play close attention. So I'm plucking the first note, but playing the C, the B, and the A. So it starts off, starts off on B, so pluck, hammer, pull, the B, to the A, all right? So pluck, hammer, pull, pull. I do this a lot, actually. Um, so I just implement it in all styles of music. Um, but it's just a little bit different because the way I place it on this Latin groove. So, so, B, C, B, A. All right, so I'm only plucking one time. All right, so, and then the next note is G. And I pluck that. Pluck, hammer, pull, pull, pluck. That's hard to say. And now I'm gonna do the same exact formation, the same exact positioning on the next string above it. So I'm gonna start on the F sharp, from the F sharp to the G, back to the F sharp, to the E, and then my last note will be D. It's, it's really the same exact formation. So I'm using the uh, the Lydian scale. All right, so you can think of it like that as well uh, because I'm in the key of G, All right? So the four of G will be C, which C starts the Lydian scale. So I'm using the notes inside of that scale, the B, the C, back to the B, A, G, F sharp, E, D, and I think that's the end of the lick. Okay, so if you can catch that on B, so one, two, three. Da, 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 Goes really quick. I can't remember exactly what I did. Either way, I played the G. I can't remember which octave of the G I played, but that's in its entirety. So one, two, but I'll try to write this out for you guys. Uh, and I'm actually just now actually teaching it and I decided I wanted to show you guys. So I haven't written it out yet, but I'm sure it's pretty intricate. I think a lot like a drummer when I think about these fills, especially with these Latin grooves, it's very heavily rhythmic, uh, rhythmically based, right? Uh, Sorry, I'm hitting on my mic. Anyway, to get the idea. All right, so really quick movement. So, but start real, 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 real slow. Start off real, real, real slow. You have to get every single note, especially because you're pulling and hammering. Every single note has to come out. It can't be sloppy. Can't do that, right? And remember exactly which notes I'm plucking. I'm pluck, pluck, hammer, pull, pull, pluck, pluck, hammer, pull, pull, 
o'clock. I'll write it up here somewhere. <laughs> that's tough to remember, but that's the technique that I use for this riff. But anyway, I told you this lick was gonna be pretty quick. Take that and run with it, implement it inside of different styles, different genres. Doesn't matter, a funk groove, a Latin groove. Um, just be, you know, just experiment, be creative. All right, take it and run with it. Uh, make sure your notes are coming out clean, clear, and precise, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.